Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Hello everyone, welcome back to Coastal Living. Now the holidays can be really stressful with shopping and trying to decorate your home and keep the kids under control if you're a mom. If not, it still can be really crazy. So I'm here to give you a few pointers on how to jazz up your holiday makeup, whether you're in a rush, whether the kids are hanging off your legs, or maybe you're just kind of clueless when it comes to makeup and you need a few pointers. So I have my beautiful model here, Miss Kendall, Hi. our producer. You're familiar with her from our DIY project. So now she's letting me DIY her face, which is fun. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. So I have a few products here, one of them being my eyeshadow palette that has a few different um, shades to choose from. It kind of goes from cool to warm, meaning more pink undertones to more orange and warm undertones. So with Kendall, I'm going, she has these beautiful greenish blue eyes, so really you can go in any direction. Green complements purple and orange complements blue. So it depends on what colors you want to pull from your eyes. This is um, literally something you can look at a color wheel to determine what's going to complement your skin tone. So I grabbed that eyeshadow palette and for Kendall I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, my little blending brush here, and I'm going to start with sort of an orangey shade, actually a little lighter. And now if you have a larger eyelid that you're working with, you actually can do a real smoky eye by going really dark all over. Kendall's somewhere in the middle but she does have that really defined crease. So if you want your eye to pop, you want to do a lighter shade in the center and darker in the crease. If you want that kind of deep, smoky look, you can go with a medium tone all over the lid, which I think we're going to try with Kendall right now. So I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and lightly go all over the eyelid. One of the best tricks that I ever learned in makeup was kind of the further you hold the brush, the more work it does for you. And you just want to go in circular motion, sort of a little windshield wiper motion, if you will. So very gently going back and forth and really letting that crease between the eyeball and that orbital bone guide you with the shape that you want. And we're just going back and forth. Very pretty. One thing that I really like to do every time that I do my makeup is to sort of smoke out the eye color underneath the eyelid as well. Let me have you turn your chin a little more towards the camera. There we go. Since I'm a lefty. And I've seen Kendall looks absolutely gorgeous without makeup, and she looks very beautiful with it as well. Thank you. One thing, you're welcome, boo. Mm -hmm. One thing I really encourage people to do is if you have relatively nice skin or pretty eyes, sometimes it's less is more. So you see this stuff on Instagram, and you see these girls with like seven layers of eyelashes and 17 colors on their eyes winged out to their hairline. That's not necessarily what's going to look best for you. Um, if you want to make a statement, that's perfectly fine. But really for the holidays, it's all about just a soft look that's complementing your natural features. So I've got her nice and blended with this is just one color. And we kind of went into the crease and sort of pushing up towards that bone. And that is what's going to show when she opens her eyes open love. And you can see that real pretty shadow. So we can totally stop there if we want to. And since we're going to do more of a bold lip, I think I'm going to Finish there and we'll come back and see if we want to darken it. Now I'm taking a thin brush and if you'll look up towards the ceiling for me, Kendall, I have the same color there and I'm just sweeping it along her lower lash line. And I want you to see the difference that this makes in the appearance of this smoky look. So look towards the camera and you can see it just looks a little bit more complete, almost like she already has eyeliner on, which is awesome. Some people get really anxious about eyeliner and you can actually avoid it by using a thin brush and just a darker shade of shadow. So let's move on and contour you honey buns. Okay. So one thing I love is bronzer, can't live without it. You want to get that in a neutral shade and make sure you're not going too crazy with the contour. Some of these palettes come with some really dark shades that may not be great for your skin tone. So make sure you're using something that's maybe two or three shades darker than your actual skin color. I'm going to take a blush brush and just dab in there, do a little tap. And we're again working off of the bone structure. So you want to use matte, non-shiny shades where you want to create depth. So we're creating depth here in her crease with the same thing I'm creating depth right underneath her cheekbone. Okay. And you, it's better to start light and add versus going really dark and having to tone it down. I'm going to go around the frame of her face, so just following the hairline and then coming back down towards the jaw. If you want a little trick to remember, you can do the three and the E. So we're kind of creating an E here and a three on the opposite side following her bone structure. 
which is going to create more dimension. So turn towards the camera for me, love. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Very gently. And like I said, if you have, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of blemishes or anything to cover, I personally will avoid foundation as much as possible and I'll just stick with concealer and sort of spot treat my skin. Seems like the less makeup you wear, the better your skin looks because it has more time to breathe. But you want to make sure you're using a primer if you do wear foundation to sort of reduce the appearance of pores and give you that really smooth look. So we've got her bronzer. I'm going to take sort of a uh, pinky orangey tone somewhere in the middle and give me a smile. Cheese. All right. Give her a little color there. Taking a highlight shade, and you can tell which ones I love because they're um, almost gone. <laughs> but I'm going to take my lightest shade since she is light complected. And this is going to go right here on the apple of her cheek. Not the apple, on the top of her cheekbone. So when you're doing shimmer, that's what's going to make things pop and really stand out. Um, so keep that in mind because it's usually not great to do shimmer all over. You want to do it in the parts that you really want to pop. And hopefully I can have a chance to get to our our grand finale, which is the lip. Sometimes I like to line first. So real quick, turn towards the camera, my love. We're doing the bold lip. And you can shade in. If you're going to overline your lips, don't go too crazy because you ain't fooling nobody, honey. So if you're going to overline your lip, try to stay right on the line or just past it, but I wouldn't recommend going too far beyond that. And I'm just sort of shading this in so that throughout the day when you're having your hot cocoa or your Starbucks or whatever, you want that color to last. Not everything is a long wear. So having this underneath will help it stay. So we just shaded that in. I'm going to take a burgundy lip shade and pop that in. And what this is going to do is we sort of stayed soft with everything else. This is what's really going to make Kendall's eyes pop. Give me a little, a little pop. And look at that, just real quick. Let me fix this, because girl, I can't let you go on TV without a straight line down here. So these are all tips and tricks that you can use at home. Practice on yourself. I mean, really, you can multitask and use your bronzer as an eyeshadow if you want. And just kind of recycle those looks. And check it out, look how fabulous she looks. Isn't that stunning? So we can just throw on a little bit more eyeliner, a little mascara, and she is ready to rock for her holiday party. So I hope you guys picked up a few pointers. If you have any questions, you can always message us on our social media at Coastal Living TV. Thank you, Kendall, for being my mom. Thank you. All right, girl, you look fabulous. We'll be right back. You're watching Coastal Living.